Welcome back Central Georgia, Avery Braxton reporting for him for Scythe. I know you see the baseball diamond behind me. We'll get you there in just a second. But first, we take a look at the week that was. Marvin James has your top plays. It's time for our top plays of the week playoff edition. Congratulations to John Miller's Academy's Olivia Rose. She scores her 1,000 point of her career in a 37-25 point win over Westminster, keeping the party going in the GISA Final Four for the Lady Trojans. Other side of the bracket, Westfield's Avery Adams scores a game-high 17 as the Lady Hornets take down Bullock Academy to move on to the semifinals as well. GMC's 1,000-point club member Dee Stevens leads her Lady Bulldogs in back-to-back -back playoff wins over Bowden and Towns County to stay alive in the GHSA Elite Eight. Demonettes taking on Jones County in the opening round at the Demons' Den. Great defense from senior Kimmy Washington, but not just one block, but a double dose of blocks on one end of the floor. And sophomore Tasia Agee with the finish on offense. Demonettes take down the Hounds, but fall to Forest Park in the Sweet 16. Fellas up next, Demons Rashawn Tomlin with a two-handed jam. What a career for the senior, but Big Red makes an early exit in the state tourney. Veterans boys, they remain undefeated with marvelous play from junior T.J. Grant and senior D'Angelo Hines, combining for 43 points and a win over Union Grove, one of two wins for the red, white, and blue last week. The Warhawks are 23-0 heading into the Elite Eight. The undefeated Baldwin Braves on the hardwood escape with the win over Hardaway, William Freeman with the three-point dagger. With seconds remaining, Baldwin survives and advances. Northeast, Jalen Stevens with a game-high 21, but it's not enough as the Raiders fall to Woodville in the opening round on Copeland Court. Check this out. Peach County's Ja'Cory Brooks with a behind-the-back pass to Marius Mathis. That's a Sports Center type moment, but Peach is juiced by Thompson in the Sweet 16. FPD's duo of Jay King and Jordan Jones on the hardwood, rack up 45 points together to take down Savannah Christian in the Sweet 16. Houston County's Jordan Johnson, remember this name for the future. The junior guard from Hoko goes through the lane with authority, but the Lady Bears are defeated by Langston Hughes at the Bears' den. Stratford fellas at home in the playoff opener. Khalil Green with the block. Eagles beat Brookstone, but end their season in the second round. On the road, Shorter McCook and Abigail Nicholson rallied to Stratford Eagleettes to a one-point win over Savannah Country Day to make it to the quarterfinals. And last but not least, big shout-out to Central Fellowship Christian Academy. The Lady Lancers defeated Covenant Academy 47-28 to claim the GAPPS championship led by Emily Moore with 17 points, including five triples, and Raven Glover, who poured in 15. The Blue and White finished at 25-1 and on the season. Congratulations to head coach Billy Andrews and Lancer Nation.